Who are we communicating with? Give us a name. I've got an anomaly. You got something? Next to Dwayne. Guys, it's right by Dwayne. Did somebody conjure you to go after the Pomeranian family? Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that? Yep, I heard that, that yeah. 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 You're setting off our meter. Who are you? Did you hear it? Yeah. Satan. Yeah. Were you sitting in the chair? Did we see you? Yes. 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 Today, November 18th, there was a police report filed at your old residence. Mm -hmm. Voices threatening to kill the family. Yeah. Well, that's today's date. Yeah. I want you to ask the first question, Dwayne. I'm going to hit record. I'm going to set it here. Are you always just here, or do you go somewhere else? Where do you, where do you go? said here. All right, let's try a few more, guys. Am I tonight sitting here after all these years pissing you off? I got the best of you, didn't I? Dwayne, while you were talking, Jamie just caught an anomaly right behind the cameraman, standing there. Yeah, hmm. I, felt, I felt it. Let me try asking a couple questions real quick. OK, go, go, go for it. Why do you still linger on this property, on this land? Lastly, where are you in this room? Everywhere. That's oh, what that's, I heard. Yeah, everywhere. Where are you? Everywhere. I pissed the demon off. Yeah, well, listen, we never want to challenge something like this. But I think this should stop. It should end. Between the intense responses from the geoport, between the anomalies, all these EVPs, I think this is good enough. Quit while you're ahead. Yeah. After nearly 50 years, Dwayne was able to remember key details about the terrifying encounter that changed his life forever. With mounting evidence that the incidents at the Hell House were related to occult activity, I've called in the help of an expert. Miss Aida is an ordained witch and an expert on occult rituals. So where would you like to begin with this case? I know I briefed you over the phone a decent amount about the activities that took place out here. I'd like to walk around the property okay. outside and then on All right. the inside. Sure. OK. Lead you this way? I'd rather go. This way around? OK. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll follow your lead. Has anyone mentioned having seen any entities lately through the windows? Yes, they said a face would appear in the window like this. We were home alone, and we both seen it. And it was almost like a white thing, like a shadow almost, with like hands. And we freaked out. There was no footsteps, nothing. I always felt like someone was watching me at all times. I'm feeling something on this side. What about the neighbors, their neighbors? So the story goes that the woman that lived across the street came over here one day, just bought that house that was brand new at the time, and said to Mr. Pomeranian, I'd like to buy your house. Why did she want that house? Allegedly, she said that she had some friends that wanted the house. But what's strange is she had no friends or family in the area. And when Harold said, it's not for sale, she kind of muttered a little something ominous, I guess. You know, you'll regret that, or we'll see about that. And then she just kind of walked on back to the house. You know what my feeling is? She wanted that house as a residence and this house to conduct the coven activities. My feeling is she didn't want any of the energies attacking her house. She'd rather have it here. OK, I, I have a police report. Uh, they came over here, and apparently they were out there in the yard. And the way that the police described it was they were seen doing contortions, 
That's, that's their wording. Contortions, okay. strange movements, and what looked like worshiping the sun with hand gestures. They would also see her across the street, you know, out here in the rural areas. They used to burn trash in barrels. Even when it was pouring rain, thunder and lightning, she would be out at this trash barrel and she would be, I guess, doing things with her hand. The fire would just keep climbing and climbing. And uh, several people actually saw that. So I don't know, you know, what That's to make of it. That's powerful magic. That is absolutely powerful magic. She was demonstrating her power. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay something else that's important basically straight across from us there's kind of a circle in the grass where the grass is different you can clearly see it's not the same and that's where she used to do that with the fire interesting i am very anxious to see that this is kind of the, the edge of it here you can kind of see where the grass is a little bit different there's a kind of that circular oh i spot. see that yes yeah this is where she practiced the magic yeah right here I will tell you that I feel a little dizzy here. Yeah, kind of disorienting a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel that way? I did. Honestly, I was just kind of avoiding my eye contact with this area because when I look at it, it feels a little. Uh, yeah, I, I feel uneven. That's why I'm wondering if it's a possibility that it could be a portal, right? Now, would it be best for me to stay outside of the circle? Maybe I'll just stand here. I can feel it. I can actually feel when I'm in and out of it, that's why I'm leaning toward a portal. Right above that garage door, there used to be three black X's. They would say that they were iron X's. Iron is a repellent. I think she put three up as a way of saying get out or stay away. It sounds to me like something scared the hell out of her. Maybe she sacrificed her soul for the power. And maybe someone came along and said it's time and she didn't want to go. Obviously, with all the bad things that have happened, what type of a cult would do horrible things to another person? It certainly wouldn't be a Wiccan community. It sounds to me like a satanic cult. I believe that she summoned something that was horrific. They unleashed more than what they bargained for, something demonic. They unleashed something that was totally out of their control. It makes me wonder, did she see Satan? 